Hey, welcome everybody to, I guess, a non-flight Build Fly Go video. Um, one of the new subscribers had asked for a quick review of the airplane and uh, a little more details on what's going on here. So it's a Vans RV9A. Um, it's the non-aerobatic uh, version of the Vans, uh, one of the Vans kits. Uh, it's got sort of the thicker, thicker, longer wing, right? So the seven and the nine are the two seat uh, Vans uh, aircraft of roughly the same size. They have the same fuselage, um, but they have a different uh, wing and, and uh, tail. Um, so the wing on the nine is a few feet longer and a little bit thicker, and it's set up for sort of more comfortable cruising. Um, but it can't do aerobatics is the, is the downside. It also has a bigger um, horizontal stabilizer. And I believe the vertical stabilizer is also different, but the rudder is the same. So you'll notice this is sort of a Hershey bar square. Um, and if you look at the seven, it's got this sort of a tapered shape to it. Um, she's currently, uh, I'm not going to call this polished. Uh, let's call it unpainted. <laughs> it's, we're far from polished at this point. Uh, she's currently unpainted. Um, you'll notice some of the fiberglass parts, not all of them, right? The wingtips. Some of the fiberglass parts are primed um, mostly to protect from, from UV. And uh, some of the other fiberglass parts are in a gel coat, um, which also is uh, protects it. Um, I have fly led uh, position and strobe lights uh they're incredible they're inexpensive uh compared to other lights uh, other aviation lights but they're incredibly bright and the support is fantastic um i also have the fly L fly leds fly leds uh seven suns landing light which is also incredibly bright i used to have a pair of um baja Squadron Pros, I believe, which are also very bright. And I replaced my landing light with the Seven Suns. And you've probably noticed on some of the videos, the left landing light uh, is incredibly brighter than the taxi light on the ground. Um, it's a whirlwind, uh, has a whirlwind ground adjustable prop. It's the GA200L, I believe, um, which has served me really well. It's a nice prop not the easiest thing in the world to uh, adjust, um, but I sort of set it where it works well for me um, and just leave it alone. Uh, let's see what else. We can take a peek inside. No, no, really not much to see in here. Oh, you can see my blue engine. I have a blue uh, Continental Motors uh, Titan IO340. Uh, I can't see much in there. Um, so Continental Motors uh, has a line of engines which are Lycoming clones. They're experimental Lycoming clones. And um, the, they make this uh, IO340, which is a stroked 320, and it is a fantastic engine for this airframe. It weighs about the same as a 320, but it puts out 180 horse. So you don't get all that weight up front, and you get all the power uh, of a 360. It's, uh, <laughs> I can't believe more people don't use, don't use this engine. It's, it's just phenomenal. Um, you've probably seen the tug. Uh, it's one of the best tugs. I think it's a Bravo. Um, I picked it up used, um, not used, or it was a factory, uh, factory model, if you will, um, from Mike a few years back. Um, he had one on the, at the shop that, uh, I think was traded in or something like that. So, I got a pretty decent deal on it. Pretty happy. It's a really nice tug. Definitely overkill for this airplane, but it's a pretty nice tug. And you guys have seen the interior, um, the avionics, uh, the Garmin uh, setup I have with the G3X, GTN, the autopilot, etc., etc. Um, the seats are, I should get my keys out and open this up. The seats are um, classic aero. And uh, they basically make custom seats. And you decide how you want your, your seats. You order them and they, you know, make the pattern and cut them and do everything to... Uh, uh, sorry. 
winter seals are really tight on this airplane. <laughs> they do, you know, and then they make the seats to work for you. So I have them match the blue, uh, the blue powder coat to match the seats. And I had them engrave or sorry, embroider this little uh, paper airplane on each seat. Um, crow harnesses, uh, crow makes um, race car harnesses. Uh, you've probably heard of hooker harnesses, which are the canonical airplane harness. Um, hooker harnesses are really nice. They're just incredibly expensive. Um, and Crow makes harnesses for half the price that are just as good, if not better. <laughs> Easily just as good. Um, you'll notice on the top of the tail there, let me see if I can zoom in, is uh, one of my camera mounts. That's a Flight Flix camera mount. Um, you see the red uh, Flight Flix mount on there. And uh, it, that's worked really well. I mounted that and I haven't messed with it. Um, and on the other, you can see the other, I just leave that there. Um, and on the inside right now, I just have a GoPro uh, mount just mark, just, uh, I don't know what, what these are, these command tapes or whatever. Um, and the, oops, the GoPro audio cable. Let me zoom back out here. But yeah, that's just a quick overview of the airplane. It's, uh, it's served us really well. We just rolled over 400 hours flight time on it in the past, I think six, 15 months ish. Um, she's, she's served us really well. Okay. So I'm here at the hangar and I thought I'd make a quick video, but, uh, I'm going to go fly. I'm going to go get some fuel. That's my excuse today is go get cheap fuel. Um, as always, thanks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It does help and uh, have a great day.